I am going to work on day three of the February 2017 29 Faces Challenge. This challenge is hosted by Ayala Art. There's a link to her channel, the Facebook group, and the challenge blog in the description box below. I am using 12 by 12 watercolor paper by Master's Touch. This is the day one face that I did. Really had fun doing that. Most of my reference photos are going to come from pixabay.com. There's a link to that site in the description box below too. This is the day two. So I am getting ready to work on day three. This is the photo that I chose. This is a reference photo from pixabay.com. Today I'm going to work on the face of an older gentleman. Just look at this face. It is so interesting. Such an interesting face. What I like about it, of course, are the lines on the face, but he's got such a beautiful head of hair that really contrasts with the coloring of his face. He's got big bushy eyebrows. He's got these lines here at the bridge of his nose. It just makes his face very interesting. He's got pretty high cheekbones and a little bit, it looks like a little bit of thinning in his cheeks here and here. He's got that mustache. His white shirt really coordinates with his white hair. This is a pretty full photograph so you cannot see much of the background except for these two little triangles up here in the corners. I may extend that down just a little to give more width to the page. We'll see as I go. His eyes are very deep set. You cannot see the eyeballs of his eyes at all, except for just little tiny, little tiny slits in there. His eyes are closed. Let's bring it up forward. Very, a very characteristic face. Very interesting to, to draw. You can really see the lines on his skin. Now because I'm starting out my sketches in ink, I may not put in as many definite lines, perhaps definite lines here and here, but these smaller lines in here in ink I will not do. I'll try to get them in with my watercolors, but my sketches, I probably spend maybe an hour, two hours on each sketch. And to do something this detailed would take me much longer to do. So he may turn out like my day one photo to be looking a much like a much younger man than what this photo is. Just simply because I don't put in all those little tiny lines. We'll see as I go. So I'm going to get started. And when I'm finished, I'll come back and talk about it. the base sketch in. I'm pretty happy with it. His hair is white. It's a bright white. I'm going to put some color in his face to tone his face and I'll be putting some dark colors in the background 
but this page will probably have more lines on it than color because it's predominantly white. I'm really happy with the sketch so far. So far, so good. at a point to where I need to let the page dry a little and walk away from it and get a little perspective and then come back. I don't know if I'm going to do much more to this page because as I said his hair is white. It's a bright white. I might put some more fleshy tones in his face perhaps. He's got a mustache so perhaps around his chin and in his eyes a little bit more. Going to call this finished. The page is still a little bit wet, especially around the borders here. I will need to spray this with a fixative. I use the combination of watercolor, Stabilo markers, and ink tints. So there is some soluble media on here, and since I'm going to be working on the other side of this page. I don't want to mess this up anymore. There are parts of this that I like and parts that I don't. And you saw me use this white Stabilo Biggie marker. I don't like these little spots on his face. So I tone them down with this marker. You also saw me go around his hair with the marker. Now, on his chin, maybe his lip needs a little bit more color, too. Let me do that now. His bottom lip here. Just, just a little. Just to sort of define it as a lip. Okay. It's hard not to keep playing with it. It's hard for me not to keep trying to put things on it, marks. I did not uh, do a lot on his ear over here. I just, you kind of know that there's an ear here, but it's not very well defined. But I do like it. I like the entire page. This is a face that I could do over and over and over again and most likely get different results every time that I worked on it. But I like it as it is. 
I think he's got some character in his face. I put more color in his face. I'm very happy with the nose. The nose are things that I'm always having to work on. It'll make another nice page in my 2017 composite art journal. I will see you on the next page. <laughs>